If you are a parent, then you most likely know the pain of the post arts and craft cleanup. There's yarn, there's tape, there's markers, there's glue, there's scissors. It's just everything everywhere. Nothing is organized. This is how 90% of you probably handle this type of mess. It's kind of throw everything into a bin. All right, so I've got some ideas to help you organize this mess. It's gonna be a whole lot easier to find things, to put away things, and it's gonna look better too. The first step is to gather all your supplies so you know what amount and sizes you're dealing with. If you're anything like me, you probably think your house sometimes feels like it's an actual craft store. All right, once everything is sorted, you're going to find a home for each item. Now, I mean all the way down to every little item. The more you sort, the better your organization will be. So these little wood dowels, they can be used for all kinds of craft projects, are gonna go into a clear bin like this. Clear bins are awesome because it makes cleanup a breeze. You know what goes into each container. Metal paint pails are awesome for things that you wanna have easy access to, like scissors. Mason jars come in a variety of sizes, so they're really great to store crayons, colored pencils, markers, and they look pretty great too. You can think outside the box a bit for your organization needs. This is actually a fridge and freezer bin, but I love it because it's clear, they're stackable, and it's the perfect size for some of my supplies. So think in different departments. It doesn't have to be all within the craft world. This is gonna work great. This is just a larger version, perfect for yarn. Another great tip from the kitchen is to use a Lazy Susan to store some of your crafting supplies. It's really great because it can spin and then you can take them on and off using Velcro. I'm gonna put one piece on the Lazy Susan, another piece I have on the bottom of my mason jar, and then you can attach it right on. This works really great for the center of a craft table. You can just basically put this on the table with all the supplies your kids need. You can swap them in and out, and then also makes it really easy when it's on your shelf for organization. You're not tipping things over, they're a bit more secure. Bins and baskets are great for larger items. I really like this one just because of the natural texture on it. It doesn't look over the top kiddish. One of my most important tips is to label everything. If you don't have a label maker, get one. I guarantee you're gonna love it. I'm gonna label every bin, every container so that we know where all of these craft supplies go. I'm using this great industrial style bookshelf to hold all the crafting supplies. Remember, just because it's for kids crafting supplies doesn't mean it can't look awesome. When deciding where supplies should go on the shelf, think about what items get used the most. Those most frequently used items should be at eye level or accessible to kids so they can grab them and put them away themselves. If the craft area is a shared space with adult crafting items that you don't want the kids to access, like super sharp scissors, put those supplies on higher shelves. It took about an hour and we completely revamped this crafting situation, taking it from chaos to full-on creativity hub. Now that everything has a home, cleaning up after an art project will be so much quicker and less stressful.